This is Tom from Nimba Creations. This video, our vampire demon prosthetic. I'll go over the coloring in detail and I'll use our alcohol activated professional makeup palette to do that with. Contact lenses went in first. Trim the inside corners of the eyes if needed. Stick down the eyebrows. Prosthetic adhesive on the mask. Prosthetic adhesive on the face. Use the nose as a lineup guide. Firmly seat the appliance into the adhesive. It's a big piece. Don't use too much blender. Sealer evens out the appliance and the surrounding skin area. It's easier to paint on and gives more protection. Sealer can also be used over powdered grease paint makeup jobs to seal them. Pale skin tone straight out of the palette. Sponge it on thinly. Contour color enhances 3D forms and adds life to skin tone. It looks a very pale pink in the palette, but joins with a base color and gives a translucent feel on the appliance. The shadow is a warm brown. Add a bit of olive or gray for translucency. The highlight is straight out of the palette. Light mint green, thinly stippled, adds a white knuckle translucency to the high spots and cartilage. Spatter is important. Start with a warm tone. Big moves with more liquid color gives liver spots. Smaller spatter adds to general skin tones. Try a light, medium, and dark tone 
as well as warm and cool tones for realism. Teeth are from hobbyeffects.co.uk. They added a nasty final touch.